Hello folks, my name is Trip McElhaney. I am point man for the Coastal Plains region of Trail Life USA in Southeast Georgia. This is Daniel McElhaney, I'm a newly freedom rangeman. And this is my wife Marlene and our dog's off camera. He's making sure we're going to do this right. So a little bit about us, in uh, 2015 we traveled to West Virginia at Summer Adventure there. And uh, at Summer Adventure you always pick up new skills and so there was a lot of things we got to do, Dutch oven cooking and uh, rope bridge. And then we met this crazy guy named Jim Ramey. I think you've seen him in a previous video. But Jim had this little contraption called a rope machine. And he got to showing Daniel and how to make rope. And, and I think he spent hours over there making rope that, that week. So every time that Jim was available, he was over there making rope with Daniel and, and several other trailmen. We came home. And we researched how to make our own rope machine. So how we can do our own rope machine here. So in 2015, we came home from Summer Adventure and we decided to make our own rope machine. We researched plans online. We found a cabinet maker to help us. We built this rope machine. We built hundreds of, we made hundreds of feet of rope on this machine. So it's a kind of enclosed gear system, just like these other two. We actually found this one on eBay this is a 1911 New Era rope machine. It's cast iron, does a real good job as well. Oh, yeah. Now, this one, and I'll show you some pictures in the video, this is a larger version of this one. Same plans, just a little bit different the way you can see it. This one, we can actually see the gears. And this one, of course, you know, Trailman, we're always gonna modify something. So instead of three, three lengths, we can put six, six ropes on here. We can make a bigger, bulkier rope but we don't always do that. So typically we just use three. So to make, a, to make rope, you've got to have a rope machine of some sort, some way to trip, twist three cords. You always need three strands of rope to make that big rope. So you need that. You need a needle, a needle or a pallet, uh, paddle, because a needle or a paddle, different things. What it does, it keeps the rope separate the twine separate as you're making the rope. You'll see that here in a few minutes. And you need something on the other end to pull. Now, I know some of you older trailmen, you know exactly what this is. This old hand drill. We just put a hook in it, and that's what Daniel will be using to pull across and uh, make the rope here in just a minute. So, we have the rope machine sitting here. We've got three rope machines. We're gonna use the big ones, so we're gonna clear these off just for a minute here. So you see he's made three points of contact, so it leaves right here and it's going up to three points of contact down there. He's going to come right back down here. And now he's making a simple loop right here. Up on the other end is Marlene, she's got the gear in. And we've got it all separated, Daniel's going to put the needle in and get keep all the twines separate. Okay, Daniel's got all the time separate. Marlene's gonna start record rolling, so she keeps going. All right, there we go, Marlene. Alright, Daniel's gonna show you this recording now. 
So Daniel's going to show you what's happening right here on the road as we, as we start tightening it. Right here, the strands are coming together. Uh, so the needles prevent it from coming together. So right here, they kind of push twist on the rope just to make sure. This locks in the twist in the rope. It locks in the twist in the rope. Okay, now we get to my favorite part. And I will let Daniel do this and I'll videotape because in 2015 I was having to I had to learn how to whip a rope. I had never whipped a rope before. Daniel, how many times did Fred teach me how to make a rope, whip a rope? Uh, Not enough. Yeah, it was a bunch. Fred Mapes sat here and kept saying, "Nope, do it again." Nope. Well, Daniel can do it. I, I'm not real good at it, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna take over the camera and let Daniel whip the end of the rope here. Okay, so we just got some smaller twine right here, smaller string. Normally we use a wax cord, but I don't seem to have any of that right now. So then we're going to come to this end right here. It's going to lay the loop out. Wrapping this this black twine around the rope, the new rope. trick we've ever learned is always have a pair of needle nose pliers. It helps pull. And sometimes you pull a little too hard and it, you know, it clips it. But then that's what the end of the rope should look like whipped. It's not as clean as it needs to be. The wax cord, wax cord will do a little bit better with that. Alright, so Daniel's going to go whip the other end of the rope. And by whipping it, what we're going to do is we're holding that braid in. So all it's all braided and twisted. And so he's going to go down to the other end and do the other end of the rope. Okay, so 
now Daniel's going to cut this. Okay. So Daniel's going to come to the other end. And he's going to cut that one loose. Now we have a stiff rope. This is really stiff. There are some things we can do. We can actually burn to get all the extra fibers and, and twine and the little strings off that. A lot of times we'll burn that. It's a little uh, little dangerous if you've got small trailing around. But the best thing to do with this piece of rope is to just keep working with it. So find your favorite knot. You know, we're gonna do over, under, uh-oh, am I gonna do it right? There we go. So, we, you know, just tie a square knot in here. Tie it, pull it tight, keep working it. The more you work with this rope, the more it's gonna give you a nice, flexible rope. So just keep working with this rope. Just keep playing with it, twisting it, holding it, wiggling it, and it's gonna break down and make a nice, strong, you know, nice, flexible piece of rope for you. You can twist the ends. Now, one of the byproducts we always like to save are these right here. These little clippings off the end. You might know what these can be used for. Great fire starters, yeah. Whoever said that, that's great. Fire starters in the back. So, let's talk a little bit about the rope. Why some symbolisms with trail life? When we look at this, we always talk about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is all right here. We start off with three and we make one. So that's always fun when you're talking about rope and how rope means and can show our love for Christ. It's three pieces of rope. They become one, just like the Trinity. So this has been the McElhaney family with our rope machines. We have several. We love making rope. And uh, if you have any questions, just let us know.